dear students today we are going to see about stresses before that what is meant by a load it is a any external force acting upon a machine member is called load the loads is classified as number 1 dead or steady or static load that is the load which does not change in magnitude and direction is called dead load example self weight second one live or varying load it is the load which is continuously changing example vehicle pass over a bridge third one suddenly applied load or shock load it is the load which is applied suddenly best example blows of a hammer next one impact load it is a load which is applied with some initial velocity or the load which is dropped from certain height example forging next we will see about the stress what is mean by a stress the internal resistance of force per unit area is called stress that is stress is simply classified as many types before that stress is nothing but load divided by area where sigma equal to p by a p is the load or force acting on the body and a is the cross sectional area of the body next one strain the rate of change of deformation or it is ratio of change in dimension to the original dimension is called strain there is no unit for strain that is e equal to change in length divided by original length the relationship between stress strain young's modulus and change in length as deformation del l equal to p l by a e next type of stresses and corresponding strains first stresses in cell stress the stress induced in your body when subjected to two equal and opposite pulls as result of which there is an increase in length is known as tensile stress the ratio of increase in length to the original length is known as tensile strain in formula base tensile stress sigma equal to resistance force divided by cross sectional area and tensile strain equal to increase length divided by original length next type is compressive stress the stress induced in your body when subjected to two equal and opposite pushes as a result of which there is a decrease in length of the body is known as compressive stress the ratio of decrease in length to the original length is known as compressive strain the compressive stress equal to resisting force divided by cross sectional area compressive strain equal to decrease in length divided by original length next one shear stress the stress induced in your body when subjected to two equal and opposite forces which are 
acting tangentially across the resisting section as a result of which the body tends to shear off across the section is known as shear stress the corresponding strain is known as shear strain that is shear stress equal to shear resistance divided by shear area shear strain equal to transverse displacement divided by distance next one factor of safety and lateral strain mm. factor of safety it is defined as the ratio of ultimate stress to the working stress of the material in mathematically ultimate stress divided by working stress is called factor of safety next one lateral strain the strain at right angles to the direction of applied load is known as lateral strain that is lateral strain equal to increase or decrease in lateral dimension divided by original lateral dimension next modulus of elasticity or young's modulus according to the hooke's law the stress in a material is proportional to the strain up to the elastic limit therefore within the elastic limit the ratio of the axial stresses to the corresponding axial strain is found to be a constant this constant is called modulus of elasticity or young's modulus it is denoted by e modulus of elasticity or young's modulus equal to axial stress divided by axial strain next modulus of rigidity or shear modulus it is denoted by capital g the ratio of shear stress to the corresponding shear strain is found to be a constant up to the elastic limit of the material this constant is called modulus of rigidity or shear modulus of the material modulus of rigidity shear stress of the material shear modulus of the material equal to shear stress divided by shear strain next poisson's ratio it is denoted by it has been experimentally found that if a body is stressed within its elastic limit the lateral strain bears a constant ratio to the linear strain mathematically linear lateral strain divided by linear strain equal to a constant this constant is known as poisson's ratio it is denoted by 1 by m or mu next one strain energy or resilience when a body is loaded within the elastic limit the work done on the body is stored in the form of energy the strained body is now capable of doing some external work on removal of the load the energy stored in the body due to internal strain is called strain energy or resilience next hooke's law the hooke's law states within the elastic limit the stress induced in the material is directly proportional to the strain sigma is directly proportional to the e that is young's modulus e equal to stress by strain next stress strain diagram it contains proportional limit elastic limit yield point ultimate stress and breaking limit we are going to form the stress strain diagram in stresses with strain point p is called proportional limit within proportional limit stress is directly proportional to the strain hence the material will regain its original shape after unloading the stress corresponding to the load is known as limit of 
proportionality. Point E represents the elastic limit in the region PE. The stress is not proportional to the strain. It means the stress strain diagram is not a straight line. Any loading beyond point E will cause permanent deformation. The stress corresponding to the load at E is called elastic limit. Next, yield stress at point Y. It is called point Y. The loading beyond E causes extension much larger than the extension absorbed earlier. The material yields to the greater extent and the stress corresponding to the load at Y is terms of yield stress. Beyond Y, a much smaller increase in the load causes considerable extension and the material is said to be semi-plastic mode. At point U, the material yields at a particular point and a neck is formed there. The stress corresponding to that load at U is called maximum stress or ultimate stress. Beyond U, the extension governed by the time of loading. The load required to cause extension is smaller than the load at M. The area of cross section is considerably reduced. The elongation continues till the material breaks at point B. The stress corresponding to the load at point B is called breaking stress.